Hey everyone, welcome back to Burst Garage. This is Steve. You know, today what we're doing is we're working on a 61 GMC 5000 conversion. So basically what we've done, we've taken this 61 off of a two-ton frame and we're putting it onto an 86 GM motorhome chassis. It's going to be about 26 feet long total as of right now. And one of the things we've done so far is we've got the sheet metal off and on this frame, but we still got to position it to get our cab mounts in place. So basically where I'm feel like we're at right now is the cab mounts are in place the sheet metal is kind of heavy on the front so we need to get some of this weight off the front so we're down to basically the fenders the core and the cab this will allow us to get our parallel line to the ground so we've got a straight truck when it comes down to it so one of the things that I feel has been a big hold up is getting the front sheet metal as low as possible and what that took was some conversion and modification from the factory cross member that gets that front end low as possible. without notching the frame rails. Now I need to work on getting the cab mount. So let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to this cross member. So I do want to thank you all for your support, all the likes and the comments and the shares. It's really motivational and it really helps me keep going, keeps me inspired to you know, keep putting out more content. And I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. It's been an interesting journey. We've always done this in the past, but you know, putting it on camera, it's a little bit different these days. So I really enjoy it and I think it's about time to turn some wrenches. So What do we have here? Someone calling a residence in the 61? Since we've got the easy ones out of the way, let's move toward the more difficult ones. So we need to disconnect these three pieces here, the inner fender, the outer fender, and the core support headers on these three things, or, or four. That is a moment of happiness. Got one more. So I've made it over to the driver's side and the bolt is most concerned about we are making progress, especially with a little help. Got 
to pick these up because Jimmy will eat them. He has in the past, along with the 10 millimeter. Okay, let's see if we can get this off of here. Oh, yes. So nice when a plan comes together. I believe we're ready to start disassembling the inner fenders from the front header panel and we would have it all separated where we only have the core the front cross member mount the outer fender and we're ready to start on some cab mounts After a little bit more examination, it looks like the culprit is going to be our front two bolts. You being helpful today, Jimmy? Well, that definitely opened her up. And with that, I believe I'll leave the header attached to the core. As you see, I ran a little tie strap just to keep it from falling forward. It'll be fine if it falls backwards. This gives us a closer look of that cross member they had to modify. So you see the half ton truck to the one ton will come down and it'll stay parallel to the ground straight across here. But on the C, at least 50s and 60s that drops all the way down into that front cross member that's not much lower so that's what i had to do with the cross member the other option would have been modifying the, the core support itself well it looks like we've got another inner fender to get off Zero days since the last safety incident. I think she let go this time. Got a few plugins in this one. Get those out of the way. Okay, I believe we're on mission accomplished. Got the inner fenders and the outer fenders off. We'll go ahead and leave the core attached to the header with the grill attached. And what we'll do now is we'll get the fenders, you know, the outer fenders put back on and then that'll give us our body line that we can start. You see, we're pretty close down the line, but we got some tweaking to do. And basically I'm at the mercy of the height of this front cross member that will set the cab rear to that point and then make the front cab supports match that. And as you see with the front cab supports, I elected not to pull the fronts off of the C50 because they were beefy and they had a torsion bar that went right through them. So 
I chose to get the half ton 60 to 62 front cross members and mount those to this frame here by welding them on. The rears, I should be able to bolt on unless the spacing needs to be raised up. But that's what I'm working with, a 61 cab with a 60 to 62 front cross member attached to an 86 P30 chassis. Enough of that. Let's get some outer fenders back on this thing. All right, everyone, we've actually got the right fender back on. I mean, it's just a temporary mock-up just to get our line on the cab. But it looks pretty good. We're not too far off of being level or parallel to the marching surface, a.k.a. the ground. But all in all, I think it sits pretty good there. So, looks like we've got a make do with that and move over to the left hand side and go ahead and knock it out just the same so what we're looking at over here is the same thing we'll put the outer fender on and that'll give us our straight line from our header panel down the fender down the cab and time to start squaring her on up let's get it Well, I believe that's a wrap for the day. We got the front sheet metal disassembled, inner fenders removed, outer fenders put back on, mounted back to their header panel. Decided to keep the grill inside. I'm glad I did because I didn't really want to pull those rusty bolts if I didn't have to. So overall, I feel like our line is pretty close, but it's got some adjustments that it needs on it. So with the inner fenders out of the way, we've got it good and mounted to the fenders. Next thing we can do, we can start leveling out our, our plane here to make sure that our cab and front sheet metal sits level. So our next path is me pulling out these cab mounts here, getting everything set up exactly how we want it, locked into place and welded and bolted on. So I've got it roughed in where the Rear cab mounts will sit. The front cab mounts are pretty much in position. Other than some adjustment of the overall body. So I want to thank you all for coming back. And please like, share, subscribe. Drop a comment on what you think or some experiences you've had with these. And I'm very receptive. 
So thanks again. Peace out.